Hello and welcome in C action in WinCC V7. Today we have the third movie about these actions. As we remember, the variable is reserved area in our memory inside our computer that stores data needed to perform some actions. For example, we need to calculate some volume or calculate some specific math elements. This variable and the size of uh, reserved memory depends on the type of this element. So different size is for the char elements and different size is for floating point. But in later we will go deeper. So the programming guy or the programmer computer is going to variable using this name specific to variable declaration. So we have always the name as the type of our variable. And we can't leave this without these declarations. So we always need to perform this specific elements. Let's go to first example. In first example, I did a small script inside WinCC V7 where I put some declarations. We have a char, int, float, short, double, bool, byte, word and d word. As you see, every time I use the declaration line, I need to perform the declaration type and I need to perform the name of the variables inside our script. And I need to finish the line with semicolon, but we did talk about this in last video. If you didn't saw this, go back and uh, check this. So we have the four basic types inside ANCC and also in C actions in MCC. We have the char. The char is used for keep in memory the one character, the ASCII character. And we can, inside this char, we can uh, put, for example, the A, B, C, D, each character separately. So if we want to have 10 characters, we need to have 10 variables inside our script. The next basic is integer int. It keeps usually in 64 bytes processors, 4 bytes memory. We can put here the integers. We can put here some big numbers and low numbers, but I have examples in later screens. We have the float, so we need sometimes put some calculations inside our variables. So we have the floating point values. In float type, we can use the six digits after the dot pointing. So we can put the 0 0.000000, for example, 9. And we have the six digits and we can put this into float type. The next is double. Double has the double possibilities as float. So we can have 10 digits after our point number, but the memory in our memory set, memory of computer, we need the eight bytes every time we use this data type. We can use also some modifiers inside C actions. We can use the short, long, signed, unsigned and some more, but it's the basic modifiers for C language. So we can put before, for example, int, we can say short int, long int, unsigned int, signed int. So we can modify the 
the variables limits inside our number so we can have the integer with signed and we have the same integer with unsigned only numbers so we can modify our memory and we can also change the limits for our tags in this example i show how to use this modifiers inside integers so we can have the less or more space used in our processor so i have 64 bit processor and my int integer this line the this first line and this line keep for me four bytes so my me memory is used four bytes and we can decrease the range using this for example short int and after i use the short int my size of memory used for this kind of tag is shorter to two bytes as you see below i use the int short and i use the big unsigned long long int to show you how our integer working inside WinCC V7 so I can put my 10 number inside my values but after this the size of the stack is different so our integer short is the less space inside our script keep in mind uh, so if you don't need uh, a lot of memory inside your scripts you can make this shorter to make this better performance here i put some examples how to use this some basic elements inside wincc so we have the char int float short double bool byte word and d word bool byte word and d word is specified for Siemens application because we always use in Siemens application this kind of stuff but the first the char int float short double as you see I put some declaration so abc is for, for me a the floating value is 0 0.00003 integer number is 299 and for example double value is 19.9999991 and my bool value i can put the true or false it's my declarations and i can use this bool value inside my script later inside wincc actions we can input also the Arise. Let's say I have the floating point table with 100 elements. This table has the 100 elements with floating point values. So I can put 100 floating points elements inside our array. I have the index. This index go through my table one by one and I can put a lot a lot of values inside my table we have the index from 0 so I have to index 99 as you see on screen the same with integer table as you see we have int 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 and 29th element is also the integer we don't have 30 index because it's out of our table the same is the char table as you see i have 256 elements by my index is only going to 255 and if i put some characters inside our inside my table tree in last element i need to put the null value so system know that it's finish of my table or string 
I can also declare some string constants. So as you see my char text one and I open and close the brackets, it's find me here. But this, the same I can make with the second option is text two, but it's the and second option, the text two, I have the indicator to my text and I can put also the find me here. After I print F this option, we will talk in about the print F options, but not now, it's introduction to C actions to show you step by step the elements. So I use the print F option and I display it inside our WinCC runtime that values. So on the right side, you see the text in text one was find me here and text in indicator text two was also the find me here. In WinCC V7 actions, we can declare some numbers. Usually you, we use the decimal, but in some case we can use also the hex and floating points. The first, the decimal, is the easier one. We can put, for example, 1, 12, 50, 60 or so. It's decimal. Into decimal, for example, the int value, we can put also the hex value. If you want to put the hex value, we need to remember about the 0x before our hex value. It's important because without this system will know that it's decimal and not hex. It's just technical to, to remember about this. The last point is the floating point. First is the normal notification about the floating point. So it's 1.99. It's normal or 5.5. .5. It's, it's just the not notifications. And then next, if you want to use the power, we need to remember the power in WinCC V7 actions. We need to put 1.2 E power 10, for example. As you see on my screen, it's the power version of floating points. If you have any questions about these elements I talked today, just give me the comments. I hope you understand how you go with variables inside WinCC V7C actions. If you have something, leave me the comments. I'll try to make you the answer. In the next videos, we will go through next introduction movies. Keep in mind that I use always the Siemens.com forum. I use also the book C programming language, but I use also the C programming language, the ANSI C from Brian W. Kernigan. It's the fantastic book. And my blog is myscadaworld.com. Go there. I invite you to my mailing list so you can be up to date with my documents and some presentations. See you and have fun!